All right, guys, we are back. And look at this. We have a full drivetrain all ready to go. So plan is today to get Project F's motor finally installed. We did all the kind of last bits that we needed to. We got the Allen head bolts for the coils. Everything's plugged in. I made some fuel lines that are going to go to the two places there. Made custom length spark plugs. They have the uh, heat shielding for the plugs because they are kind of close to the headers. It's whatever. Cut down the studs. I'm trying to think what else we got. The, uh, got the rear uh, brake booster line. We got the power steering pump and I got the pump transferred over to it. We are going to have to make a custom power steering line because this actually comes out a bit too far for our turbo kit. That's not a problem. Got the correct length crank bolt in. I'll just put the measurements on the screen what you need for this thing because you can't just freaking buy the, the crank sprockets new. Got the throttle body bolted on permanently and RTV gas, you know, RTV gasket maker on it. Plugged up whatever else holes, I don't know if you guys know, but the 3800s behind some of the bolt holes, they actually have water jackets because that's a great design. And uh, if you don't have a bolt in there, it'll leak water. And man, I'm trying to think what else that I've done on this thing. It was a lot this week just trying to prepare and think about absolutely everything that we need. You also need. measured the, the belt? Yeah, I measured the belt, serpentine belt. We're going to put a 58 and 3 8 inch belt on it because we deleted the AC. I did get the breather uh, on here. So it's a 5 8 breather port for a catch can. And I'm trying to think. I think that's it, really. We I, I went through everything that I could think of to get this all ready to be put in. There is one last thing, I think. I replaced the clutch line because it can be easier to get to. But past that, like... We're all ready to go. We're gonna get some of this stuff out of the way. We're gonna lift up the Camaro. We're gonna go ahead and put it on the jack stands and roll it under, finally. Man, it has been a while since, I mean, it's been in the car before, like we put it in there for storage, but finally it's gonna go in as the actual permanent install. Like this is, this is it. Like we're gonna get it running after this. So we're gonna do some final things, get this ready, and we're gonna go ahead and roll it under the car and get started. All right, guys, we are lifting up the Camaro. As you can see, we're gonna put them on the jack stands. Oh. Yeah, it's fine. It's gonna do that. We, we have our, you know, expert chocks in there. You just put a, a bolt through the wheel because every time we every time we say this, we're like, oh, we need to buy some locking casters. We never uh, do. Doesn't it need to go off? It needs to go much higher. Yeah. Kristen is just getting that under there. You can see our fancy bash bar, you our fancy, a, uh, you know, strap. That's, you mean grip for ego lifting. Yeah. Bro, it's literally sliding on the wheels now. Maybe we should put something in extra to chalk that. Uh, Will this uh, fit? Yeah, how much higher are we going to go? Jesus. Um, yeah, we should measure the top of this. Uh, there's a tape measure in front of you right there, the green one. Yeah. Just to the top of this, really. So. Out of the strut towers. Yeah. Probably about like 28 to 29. Oh, yeah, the strut tower is a good one to measure. About 28, 29, you see as well. Well, the top of the strut, yeah, 28, 29. And the lowest, or the tallest part, the lowest is this here, so. We're good there. So, we're good there. We should be fine to go in. Do we want to pull Ooh. up all those cables real quick? Just to make sure that they don't get in the way. Ooh, we've been allowed to enter. Ooh. Ooh by dad. That's Ooh. disgusting, son. That, you said it, not me. I can't reach that. Yeah. I'm not gonna I, get I'd have to go either. inside the car, so. Well, we, I, I will do that once we have uh, jack stands under. All right, guys. Yeah, we're going to set up the jack stands on this, lower it, so it's safe. We're not obviously going to get under this until it's on jack stands. Says you. And then, uh, oh, look at this, look at this. Damn, you're about to kill yourself. We're going to move this stuff out of the way. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get started on this.
All right, guys, as you can see, we got the uh, motor kind of where it needs to be. This is the struggle with it now, though, is getting the struts because they've come concaved in. We now need to kind of align them with the two jacks. If you lift up that, it'll sag the suspension down, which will bring the struts from an angle like this to straight up. So we're going to work on this and see how that goes. Yeah. This is yeah. kind of hard part. The jack's not going to let me get a... Uh... The jack stand's not gonna let me get the jack under it unless we okay. support it with the engine lift. Yeah. So do you wanna just come from the front then and then? We can try. We're gonna try a couple things guys and we'll be right back. Then we got this center to kind of lift up the front. That brings the control arms or the lower control arms from a position like that more flat. When it is that, the uh, struts aren't gonna be at a diagonal. They're gonna be vertical. Yeah, I'm looking at the uh, position of the manifold there and it will hit that. Unless we move it. This side. What? I'm looking at the exhaust manifold. Uh -huh. Like, look down where it's going to be coming. It might touch it. Hmm. We might have to take them off. Maybe. I would really hate to do that I because we kind of have to pull it out <laughs> to get to them. I mean, unless we want to sit under the car and take Maybe them the off. the engine just needs to come more right a little bit. Yeah. I wonder how we would do that, though. I think just while we're bringing it down, we can kind of control that. Where the car is? Yeah, where we're just messing with the bottom. That's true. We can move the car okay. once it's up. Well, let's, uh, well, either, actually, this is off a little bit. We do need to pull this a little forward. Like that. How's it looking now? Okay, that's straight. Now it's still going to hit, kind of. You can see where the line up here is, and then the manifold. This side looks fine, but kind of concerning. Oh god, that's going to go right into it. We have to take off from right here. But let's not do anything with it yet because we still might need to reposition. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to look at this and kind of get an idea where we need to put everything. Because uh, we might need to take off that manifold. I think this one will be fine to leave on. But I would not want to remove it. Like, that's just my our last option, I guess, is removing it. Because it's going to be a pain to get back in there to put it back on. We're just gonna mess with this, guys, and we'll be back. All right, boys and girls. Oh, it's on time lapse, isn't it? All right, we're gonna do this right now. We're probably gonna crash and die, but. That's fine. I should have wore the uh, stand back. I built this shit myself. That's very true. All right. Guys, we got a nut in. I did some damn. Well, I didn't do any dangerous things. No, he almost lost a hand. No, no. <laughs> but that was a, a lot more of a struggle than it was last time for unknown reasons. Yeah, but um, we just have this side to do. Yep, we just got the one side in. I just wanted to update you guys. I can't even see the the, the whole, studs. Whole motor needs to rotate a little bit. More. Yep, it does. Cause if you look, guys, the motor ain't. <laughs> <laughs> Something ain't right. Same thing with the uh, last time too. If you look at the wheels, they're actually really forward. Yeah, we got some camber going on because well, not camber, no, like, oh, it's well, like... it's camber, but it's also tilted forward because it's not where it's supposed to be. Not at all. That's fine. Yeah, look at it. Look at that camber laugh. But um, yeah, no, seriously, that needs to come forward. Yeah. For sure. Well, now that we have that side, that's gonna be easier for sure. We oh, well, probably... hopefully. Yeah, we need to lift it up a little bit, but I yeah, can get do. this. Hey, let's, let's get the second nut on there. No, we need. We only have two nuts. Oh, oh, guys, we only have two nuts here at Jerry Rigs. It's, fine, it's all we're. That's all we can afford. It's so just the lift, two. Lift it up. It's a budget build. It's a. It's a budget build. Wait, what? I say well, we could do this live. <laughs> all right. This position. All right. This position. <laughs> yeah. All right. Go ahead. Is that? Um, rotate it counterclockwise and then push it in. Uh, you're almost right there. Wait. Yes. 
Uh, okay, towards me a little bit. Should push it towards me. Towards the motor? Yeah, no, towards me. Towards me. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, you had it right. Push it towards me. Oh, it's just rotated. It needs counterclockwise yeah, rotation. Here, you, this is not lined up. Yeah, I see. If you can, use this, go through the bolt hole, and then you can not, angle this wherever you want. Oh, oh, you've got it, you've got it. You good. He's got one. Oh yeah, no, he's got both. Yes. Hey. Keep going. All right, all right, all right. Drop it. It's oh dropped. God, it's so dropped. Slow. It's dropped. Here. Okay. What? Um. Well. Is it dropped all the way? Yes, but it's just stuck. It's right. stuck on something. Nope. Nope. No. Nope. No. Don't do that. Don't do that. No. We'll be right back. As we can only afford two nuts, and we're putting the second one on. We got it. So that's still not like maybe that's the hard part. The next thing is getting the subframe in the right position up, and then bolt it in. So Davis, yeah, of we, course, that was the hard part. As long as we get close, we can actually thread the bolt in, and then you know just drill it in with the impact. Probably not the best way to do it, or I mean that is the best way for us. It's literally the only the most, way we've been able to do it. <laughs> probably not the the recommended approach, but. It is what it is. So we're gonna gonna lower and take away the engine hoist, and then we are gonna get under the the bitch with uh, those two jacks, and then we'll see what we can make happen. Look at that number it's in there. And the manifold clears perfectly. Hopefully on we have enough room here. Maybe we should kind of like bend this. Dude, up do you remember bit. that thing used to hit? I mean, I, I'm sure this isn't in exactly the spot it's supposed to be. That thing was hitting the AC box before. Now guys, look at how much room there is for activities back there. I could put a, like a second turbo back there. Look at this, my guesstimated. Wow, my guesstimated. Those look clean. Lines. Those look really clean. All right. My God, we got a race car. Goddamn, a race car that's not gonna go nowhere. All right, guys, we'll be right back once we're set up, trying to get the. Uh, yeah. The is that good too? I was just gonna say we should probably get it on before we. Yes, uh, we should actually. Good idea. Just before we put it all the way up. Is it long enough? It kind of is. It's kind of is. But once it's up in place, I think it'll be better. Nice, it kind of is. Also hoping Fuck that yeah, this bro. clears all good. Oh, it will. You know, custom. Remember, you were talking about how much room we're having. Yeah. It is more room than I imagined. Yeah, see? That is actually way more room than I thought, so. All right, guys. We're going to we'll be back to this. When it slides in just right. I wish we could recreate that moment because I got the bolt in the subframe and I shook that sucker yeah. right in there. That that front one was a bitch, uh, unlike the, uh, well, no, we hadn't done the, oh, no, we did do the other side. Well, yeah, that this one, side is the long bolt still. I need to replace with the short. Yeah, that one was just tough because uh, you just need the right tool to get it in straight is yeah. basically the moral of the story. Oh, you already have the short bolt on you? Yeah, I have it. Man. Okay. Let's see if this one goes in just as easy. And we're still going to have to play with the alignment of the subframe, mm -hmm. really. So yep. we are going to tighten this down all the way. And by the way, what, what we're doing, guys, is we're lifting the engine from the bottom uh, with the floor jack. And then we're getting it up to the bolt holes, basically, of the front. That's what we do first. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay. You see the guys you see the motor suck in now now it's just gonna trap the pool in there <laughs> it's not totally all the way down yet um okay it's just halfway in because we still have to align the back because yep. the whole motor is tilted at yeah. this point move guys there real quick oh shit the whole motor is tilted as you guys can see <laughs> it's not where it's supposed to be but we're getting there yeah you we are getting all there this stuff yeah look at that oh boy I think we're gonna have plenty of room. Like it, it probably has another couple inches to be sucked in, and it looks like uh, we're yeah. we're gonna have just like a little bit of playroom above the fuel lines. It looks like be and good. We though. can actually kind of still get to like spark plugs and stuff pretty easy. I mean, obviously it needs to go up more, but it's not looking too bad. No, it's actually looking really good, guys. I mean, just a, I am concerned about the freaking ABS. Yeah, but once it once it gets cocked the way it should, it might not be an issue. But we might have to relocate it, which would be horrible. Yeah. Or just delete ABS, which I don't want. Never do that. <laughs> yeah, Vince did it on his Trans Am and... Uh, no, he didn't. It's just broken. I he thought I thought his 4.9-inch didn't have, like, what he had. Like, it no. wasn't compatible. No, 
Oh, really? Yep. It was just broken this whole time. Yep, it's always been broken. Yeah, uh, since he bought the car, it's been oh, broken. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, well, uh, he needs to get it fixed for obvious reasons because... You don't uh, want to flat out all your tires when you, like, slam on the brakes. Which um, which has happened to Vince before. Scary stuff. Anyways, Anyways was, uh, yeah, we're going to... We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. The transmission was also getting stuck on something. We've kind of either figured that out or we've dealt with that issue because... We had to get here, yep. and uh, we're, oh, that's the next step is to get the rear ones in. We're probably going to have to come from the back with the jack and bolt it from this side. Yeah, we also need to get the cross number in. Oh, yeah, that too. Man, the whole motor oh, is yeah. Sideways. Look at that, guys. That's actually pretty lined up. That's pretty nice. So we're just going to have to lift from probably right here and then get the bolt in there, do that on the other side, and then there's just one more bolt to get to, and then that's it. This man just about lifted the car from the rad support. It would have been fine. Oh, yeah. So, here, I stop jacking for a second, Tristan. I know it might stop be a struggle jacking. for you. Uh, we got all the subframe bolts in and tight. You can see the motor is sideways. So, what we're going to do is we're going to lift it up into the air, put it on jack stands. The transmission will be sagging, but with that, we'll be able to kind of reposition it. And then, with a floor jack, lift it, get the cross member bolted up then the whole drivetrain engine transmission will be fully secured in here. So I'm gonna let Tristan get back to jacking what he does best. All right, and then uh, I feel like if we got a jack under the transmission or like that dolly back under there, it'd probably help it. Nah, just go. All right. Like I said, we need it to sag. Okay, so it's entirely in the air. Cool. Here, let me try pulling it. Here, as they... Just pull it right off the floor jack. Does that move the motor at all? Uh, no. What the hell? That didn't move anything. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Hey guys, so we're still running into the, oh Jesus, we're still running into the issue that the engine and the transmission are cockeyed while the subframe is bolted straight into the car. Yeah, we thought maybe it was the motor mounts flexing and we can position it, but that's definitely not the case. It is just 100% sideways and it's Yeah, if you look at it, bolt. if you guys look at it. Don't, from, don't mind that. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, but if you look under here, the engine is not straight. You see this? The engine is not straight with the subframe at all. Yeah, there's like, like more gap there. You can definitely there. see that, guys. I'm not sure if it's focusing, but you can definitely see where the crank is. It's uh, cockeyed really bad. And then in the, it, actually in the car, if you were to see the upside of the transmission, the top, it's com it's like rotated differently than what it needs to be. This is made for a 93 to 02 F body, mm -hmm. Firebird or Camaro. This is specifically made for the V6, 3.8 or 3.4. Yeah, so it's not that. Not the cross member. But like, also look, guys, you can see where the, the subframe is touching. Fan also did send us these motor mounts, so maybe they were for like something like to like just that, minorly that, different. That it's possible that we're we're thinking of. It's possible. But you see how like the subframe is basically touching like the frame of the car there, and then there's like an well, inch of space on that, that side. That won't change with the uh, motor mount. I'm just saying like it's kind of weird that it's not. It it's not matter. centered. It isn't. Yes, it it's is. It's not level. It's, it's not nice. level in the in the car. This is level. The crop that we even confirmed it. The subframe is level. That has nothing to do with it. That's just how they built it. Doesn't hmm. matter. So the motor mounts, something's off with that. Wonky. Well, let's loosen them and yeah. and see see what happens. All right. All right, guys, we're back. It's been a little bit. We went and got lunch. We uh, looked over some old footage and we figured out what the problem is and it's fixed. This passenger side motor mount, we had actually positioned in the wrong place so as you can see here just imagine the mount but all the way over here what we did is we just removed these bolts and then basically just slid the whole motor and that took it from a position like this to straight everything lines up now we are seeing that we are really really close to the top like it's basically touching the top of the uh, fuel rail so I actually don't know how we'd be able to remove the fuel rail with it in here. We'd probably have to lower the subframe, just give us a little bit more space to reach it. But now that that's done, Isaiah's died of heat stroke. I th oh, he's alive, there you go. He's moving. Um, we're gonna bolt up the transmission cross member and that will basically be it. The whole drivetrain will be in. No. We didn't have to take off anything. So this is almost like complete motor, just connecting you know, electrical harness and whatnot and then getting the turbo kit set in. So interested to see how this will all go. See how much room we have for the turbo kit up here. 
kind of only concerning thing is fuel logs or, or sorry fuel lines are kind of close have to secure these out of the way a bit maybe we can make a oh jesus make a bracket off of one of the strut towers kind of hold out of the way and then this there we go abs block it's kind of close it does actually pass so we'll just have to figure that out once we have that in but so this we're getting will, there this w these will bend out of the way actually okay well we need to secure them a little we bit we do need too. to secure them so guys a spoon performance subframe works stock motor mounts work we just had it in the wrong space that's kind of the whole gist of it yep just moved it a bolt hole over and now it all fits like and it should this is pretty much where everything's gonna be look how easy it's gonna be to get to the spark plugs even take off the exhaust manifolds oh, what the hell this side's a bit tighter but we can reach everything it'll be nice that will be nice yo i'm so excited all right guys we're gonna go ahead and get the cross member bolted up and probably put it on the ground all right guys cross member officially bolted up Did you want to do the honor? No. You want to drop it on the ground? Fuck this car. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just wham. You good? Drop it. What do you think is going to happen? I don't care what happens. This exactly. Is We're done with the hard part. Yep. Drop it. There we go. Oh boy. There we go, guys. Yeah. Hey guys, watch this. Hey, is that here? Yeah. Turbo See, he's, kit. He's, he's, Turbo a, kit. He's, he's gym boy now, so he can easily lift that. Well, guys, uh, two seconds into getting the turbo kit on, and we have our first problem with that. Yeah. Well, it's not that big of a problem, but if you look at this, imagine this in the car. This actually hits the frame right there, like barely. Yep. So it it's like it's come over. Yep. And so what we're going to do is they're probably going to cut because this has this pipe on the underneath of it so we're going to cut probably as close to this pipe as we can you can't really see there's not a good angle take that cut that and then just basically take an inch of this pipe away and then re-weld it to it and then Measure that first, might obviously. yes and then we're we're going to basically uh, get the space we need I'll put it right in there. fact like we also kind of want to kick it down because it was kind of higher up you know yeah so. this, we we basically took a gamble welding this and doing all this outside the car i mean i did have it on the subframe but as we saw we actually had the motor mount wrong so it kind of positioned the motor more this way that's so actually probably why we uh could have been made contributing, that but i don't know yeah it's definitely a contributing yeah. factor because it didn't it didn't help the situation For sure. um but yeah so it looks like it's an easy modification and besides that it looked like it would have fit just perfectly in the car of course the abs is a possible problem that we want to address yeah, just we'll the lines up and see we might be able to just like keep it a little bit out of the way yeah and then another problem is like cutting this where we need to the tools that we have we have that table saw but it's gonna Not be really best. hard to like it's gonna be really hard to cut it like precisely where we need it so yeah, there... kind of test it. yeah, there's no way. <laughs> yeah, we need, we unless need like we a bandsaw. Off, unless we take off this. You can take off that guard on the left. It just unscrews. Oh. But and there's still just... a lip. Yeah, and, but it'll still just be more room. I'm going to take off like this whole thing. Is that possible to yeah, take that whole thing off? There, you can. Yeah, there's bits that you can just take okay. off. Okay. And it can sit flat. We just have to hold this by ourselves. But I, that's fine. We've, uh, done, we've done that before. I think that we could do it with that table saw yeah, now that we, I know we can take be that the thing cleanest off. cut. I yeah. might buy a better blade than this um, oh. Diablo. It's been kind of aluminum. Oh, dude, look. Oh, wait, look. The aluminum is just caked onto it. Yeah. That's crazy. Aluminum, also, uh, aluminum does some crazy If you guys things. watch Project Farm, he actually did a video on like the best blades for stainless cutting, and there's better stuff than this. So I'll just buy a new blade. Was that was that Diablo part of his video? Mm -hmm. Oh, and it did performed that. really badly. Oh, cool. Oh, it did. Yep. Well, did, you buy, did you watch the video no. after you bought it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's funny. Okay. So kind of buyer's remorse there. Yeah. It's, how but, was uh, it expensive? I mean, they're not cheap. Not they're cheap. Probably oh. like 40, 50 bucks. Yikes. But we got use out of it. Dude, Project Farm is is pog. Yeah. Also, He's awesome. the blade's been impre impregnated with aluminum, so if we were to cut this stainless with it, it could actually contaminate the stainless and when you go to weld it it'll just not be as good a weld mm, yeah yep. oh guys we've been busy we've a, we've accomplished a lot we got the we whole early and it's good. we right. did we got the whole engine bolted in you know the the subframe is completely bolted in the uh the k member oh i meant like the the subframe of the transmission uh the cross beam cross member that thing's all done everything is bolted up 
and now we're just playing with the turbo kit guys so we've accomplished at least what we set out here to do today it just sucks that we couldn't put the turbo kit on like we wanted to but we got this part this is a cool looking part right dude it's one of the coolest yep. at least this will freaking fit up to it guys yep. see look at that that actually clears it it, it, it does clear it, it clears actually perfectly like we might want to put like that heat yeah. heat wrap around this brake line but besides that guys look at this of course it's kind of wonky because of because of this but um it fits let's v band this on and we'll all right then we'll be right back oh here it is bolted up guys v band at least can really see how we kick this out over here yep and then now we got the turbo on it the hood closed now oh fuck that's good good question i mean we've checked it but now this is in its final final resting place yeah Wait, hold this Oh god, I got some metal slivers in me or something. Oh, that's not good. Look at that, guys. We just run an open wastegate, open dump. That would be crazy. You can see the fuel lines kind of come a little close. We'll just have to like heat wrap them and keep them out of the way. The brake line is touching the V band. We should have put it on the inside. We'll just flip it. Yeah. In the future. Well, let's um, let's see real quick. Uh, move your tools. That's going to be a no. Just slam it. Touch. That's fine. We just got to cut it out. Oh, it latched. It's freaking... It's not going to go all the way in, though. Yeah. It didn't latch. It made a latch. Oh, down. no, it did. It did. It, it's... <laughs> Here, let, press it. Press the latch. Oh. Yeah. Or right, is so we push up? Wait, what? There, I got it. It was, oh, yeah. it was just being dumb. Your struts are going out. <laughs> Dude, that's a that's a fat negatory. Yep. But I'm thinking we might be able to get uh, a little bit of room with that. Yeah, we'll just cut it. Don't oh, you can it. just rip it off. Oh, some room with this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just that's take fine. the insulation out. Yeah. That might that might work. But damn, it's in there, turbo it's kit. It's in oh. there, guys. Um, but yeah, the turbo is just a little too high, which is fine. I mean, what can you Dude, do? Dude, with that one additional adapter, can you imagine? Be yeah. sticking out of the hood. It would be way higher. So I'm glad we removed that. I don't know if you guys remember, but the original kit came with a T4 flange. We needed a T3 flange, so ended up cutting it off here. And now we have a T3 flange on it. Yep. Easy peasy. Just modified the, uh, the, the manifold. Um, but yeah, I, I think that, it, it sh you know, we might be able to just, you know, get the insulation and fit fine. But I kind of do want to put, you know, kind of what he did. Big vent. Heat extractor vents. And we yep. can put like it's gonna right where it. the turbo is and then like on the other side. Well, the most advantageous place to do it is actually where these are. So if you just cut these out and put vents, that would be, be cool. the best place because you basically want it. Well, yeah. So it lands. The radiator will be right here. You want it right after the radiator before the motor. What if I bought a cow hood? Be cool. Yeah. I, I just don't think like the, the kind of cowling. I don't think it starts all the way out here. I think it starts like closer to the middle yeah. of the car. So I don't think that would... I'd have to get dimensions, but um, that or cut a hole for the turbo. Yep. I wonder how it's easy it's going to be to get the uh, steering rack back on. Oh, they're close. I actually might be able to slide it on right here just by my hand, but that's fine. We'll just fuck with that later. And then as for the spark plugs, um, you know, I feel like it's actually not going to be too hard. Yep. Like even from on top of this, like these, I can I can see myself getting all three of those. Fairly I can easy. touch it with my fingers. This one is kind of tight, but I can touch it. This one also I can touch with all my fingers. See, now, I, I think the back one here is going to be kind of the tricky one. Oh. Maybe. And, like, it might be tricky, but it's going to be the, the hardest one. Yeah, I can touch it perfectly. Like, can you get a socket wrench on there? Probably. You got tons of room. This one is going to be hard. Also might be able to just get it from underneath the car. Yeah. There's tons of room underneath the car. We didn't really show much. Dude, these spark plugs are easier to get than a freaking, like, supercharged... Uh, one of these. Oh yeah. There's a lot of, you know, minor There's things. There's a lot of, we're going to do a, a part three list. Yep. I'm very happy with the progress we've made. Yep. This is awesome. We could, if you wanted to start getting the harness kind of plugged in. I kind of wish we routed the harness around where we're going to need to do it first. That might be a challenge. Also yep. the brake booster line we didn't get connected, which we should have. Yeah, that would have been nice. But all in, uh, you know, all in all, not that bad. We can just do it. We can just deal with uh, our little mistake there. 
That's fine. All right, guys, we're officially done for today. Big accomplishment. Yeah. Like, I'm so excited that we we're able to finally get the uh, motor in here. It's been almost three years, three years, guys. Like, we bought, or Tristan bought this, uh, I believe it was January 2019, so the very beginning of 2019. Yep. And it's been sitting since, like, right before, well, a couple months. It's, we put in August uh, 2019, I think. That's when it sat here. And yep. then it's been on my property since. I mean, it's had its motor in it before, but we just rolled it over there to keep it while we had other stuff when we are fucking with your Bonneville for, yep. you know, a year. But, man, it is finally in. Dude, it's been a journey. And I'm glad that at least we're, it feels like we're doing it right. Because we're doing all the right stuff to the engine before it goes in and whatnot. You know, this isn't just like a piece together build, so I'm really happy. You know, I'm I'm really I'm really happy with all the progress. I mean, of course, I wish it hadn't have taken three years, but you know, it is what it is. Life gets in the way. But we went over this. We have an idea for the heater hose. You can kind of already see what we're doing. We're just wrapping it up there, repurposing the stock lines. We have the harness out. We were just looking at it. We are going to have to move it to the back, and we did discover that the you said it's ICM. What is that called? Yeah. yeah um ignition control module yeah so the ignition control module we had a spare harness when in reality it's actually built into this harness here i can't find it right now. Yeah, there it is with, with, yeah the l67 uses it it own it's own Auxiliary. detachable harness that you just plug in yeah. and i we wish thought we could use that, that that that's how it worked but it doesn't yeah. have that one spot that you plug it in it has yeah. it built in so, so there's the top that. of the icm and then down here where you see this heat shroud because that's supposed to go near the motor. Yep. There's the the cam position, crank position, and then there's actually a mystery wire harness, so we don't know what that goes to. Oh, I, I know what it is. It's oil pressure. Oh, it yep. uses that weird one? Yep. Mm, okay. So, yeah, because the oil pressure on yours is like on the back of it mm -hmm. or something. Yeah, Anyways, I don't remember that plug, but. So I made this nice harness, <laughs> like wrapped it, yep. routed it perfectly. Cannot use it. Cannot use it. I hate it's that. It's useless. Like that's, hey, you know what? We could put it on the Bonneville and it would look better. That's actually you know? true. So we could use it still, but that it really does suck that you, we did that so, work. I, I think I'm going to take this whole loom apart because look how gross it is. And I'm going to rewrap it in the same cloth style you know wrap yeah. it'll make it look much nicer and uh be easier to touch or nicer to touch we need to fabricate some kind kind of throttle cable bracket because this no longer works i don't know what the stock one even was like we'd have to look that up yep don't remember uh, oh it, it was probably attached to the throttle body oh like you're right bolts, yeah so uh just like my north star we're also thinking about maybe spacing this subframe down let us know in the you know down below in the comments what you think of it we're thinking about adding maybe three quarter inch spacers between the subframe and the body that yeah. will lower the motor and give us more room up top the, the yeah the fuel rail is touching the the bottom of the cowl and uh, pressing it down just a, a tiny bit it's not the actual lines it has this like little bridge. bracket and bridge yeah and that's what's touching it so that's why we're thinking about spacing it and like getting the harness back there it would just be easier if it were spaced out for yeah. for you know um longevity's sake mm -hmm. when we're working on the car it would yeah. be easier if it were spaced out um so we're still thinking about that and how to do it that's an idea we have a whole list that i'll just put on the screen right now of yep. everything we've thought of that we need to do there's definitely some other minor or major things that we're missing from it this was just what we brainstormed with our our brains being dead right now after a day of work yeah, we're exhausted. all we can remember we have the new belt on the way. We have a new power steering, you know, dash six and lines to make a custom power steering hose because the sock one interferes with the turbo kit. A lot of modifications the turbo kit needed. There's a lot of stuff that we need to do, but we're getting there. Like this is a major step. Like finally have the full built motor with all the accessories. The, I would say like a 75% done turbo kit. Yep, and, and now all we really need to do is, is do the downpipe, that's it. That's yep. all the turbo kit needs besides the actual cold side and that's going to be a lot easier than the hot side so that'll be way easier way easier you need to do the stand-up radiator you need to mount the air water intercooler yep. you need to uh you know just get it all going get yeah. a tune from more boost garner on instagram yep um, get, uh, get we need to do the battery box um, battery rewire because we uh, tore it out from the front side of the motor um so it's going to be over the rear wheels um probably going to want to have a little stand for the intercooler 
like probably something you can sit on. Yeah. Or just the brackets. We can make a bracket chunky. with aluminum. It's pretty chunky, so it's probably yep. gonna need something to hold it up more than just brackets. We can bolt something from off the side here yeah. and hold it. Or, or maybe extend this out. Who yeah. Knows? There's gonna be a lot of modifications. A lot this. of modifications to the car. Yeah. Like that's kind of scary, but oh well. Like welding onto the car is scary to me, but that's fine. And we'll. Yeah. It's just welding and like at the start was scary doing any of this at the start <laughs> was scary but you just gotta do it yeah we'll figure it out also Here. if you have any headlights for this car i would like some so if anyone has some spares what we'll just duct tape some flashlights <laughs> that'll work <laughs> that's jerry rick at the it'll, at the drag strip but yeah so if you guys have any spares let me know and i could buy them yep <clears throat> that's about it guys yeah i think that's gonna do it we've made tons of progress Ooh. today you know if we didn't run into that issue with the motor mount, we would have been done hours ago. Yes. Like, uh -huh. we, we would have been done at, like, 1 p.m. It's, like, 4 now. Yep. We have actually just been, like, talking and stuff, too, that adds to it. But, man, it is in here. It's going to rip. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait to get it running. We're hoping to have it running within the next couple weeks, hopefully. There's a lot of fabrication. Some changes need to happen. And, you know, depending on, you know, variables in life that might be extended, I would say at this point, pushing out, you know, the goalposts even farther. Let's try to get it to the drag strip before October because that's yeah. when it ends. And it is uh, mid-August right now. So, yeah, I think I, we could do that. I would like to see it like September, I think, is a more modest goal of getting it running. But God damn, please, let's get it to the drag strip. Even if it's not ready to actually, you know, yeet it down the strip. Like yep. at least to have it visit, be able to drive it somewhere. Exactly. Yeah. So that's the hope, guys. We're going to try and make it happen. Obviously, no promises because life has gotten in the way, especially the last couple weeks, you know. So it's like, if that can happen, anything can happen. Um, but yeah. Dude, you know what we should do is when this thing is actually like running, we should have a merch drop. Like, I don't know if yeah. we're ready for it, but I think we do I feel that. Like it'd be cool. we'll, we'll, we'll work something out. That'd be awesome. But yeah, that's going to do it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Much more Project F to come. Much more Mustang to come. I'm building a motor for it, finally. Yeah, so finally it's going to have a forge, for forge internal. So that'll be awesome. Be sure to subscribe down below. Comment if we're missing anything or any recommendations you might have for us that we might have overlooked. Leave a like and we'll see you next time.